So in this question, we're given a simply supported beam, but the, the difference here between some of the, you know, this question and some of the other ones that we've done is this question has an applied moment at the end. So I want to go through this problem to show kind of how the applied moment might impact our, our standard approach here to finding reactions, right? So first we're going to draw a free body diagram, then we're going to apply our equations of equilibrium, and then we're going to solve. So let's get started with the free body diagram. So I copied the diagram down and, and really the biggest difference again is I just removed my support symbols. So now I can draw my support symbols. I'm just going to assume that these are both going up. Sometimes when you have applied moments, things get a little screwy and things, you know, might that you might think go up can actually go down, but we're just going to assume they're both going to go up. And if we're wrong, we'll get a negative sign. So I'll put in a X here as well. So really the only other thing we need here for a, for a free body diagram is a coordinate system that kind of defines what we're saying is positive. So in this case, we're going to, you know, use this coordinate system uh, for our positive X and Y, but we're also going to specifically use it for our equations of equilibrium. So let's just start writing our equations of equilibrium. And I'm going to start with the sum of the forces in the X direction has to equal zero. So this is, you know, hopefully the easiest one because all we get is minus AX equals zero. So uh, hopefully this one's pretty obvious. There are no horizontal forces. AX equals zero, right? That one's pretty simple, straightforward. But next we have to go and find our vertical reactions. And I'm going to start here with taking some of the moments about point A. So this is really the crux of this problem. If, if you can solve this equation, you've got it. So I'm going to assume um, counterclockwise moments are positive and, you know, clockwise moments are, are going to be negative. So what I know here is I have some forces, you know, uh, this four kilonewtons, this by, and this moment that are all causing moment about point A. A AX and AY both pass right through point A and they are not going to cause a moment at point A. So let's write those down and, and then we'll look for moment arms and we'll, you know, solve this. So we have four kilonewtons, we have by, and we have our 60 kilonewton meters. Okay. So next I want to look for moment arms and we know this is all going to need to equal uh, zero. Okay. So let's look for the moment arm for this four kilonewtons. Well, the perpendicular distance between point A and the four kilonewtons is going to be three meters. So we're going to multiply this by three meters, right? That, that force is tending to cause what a clockwise rotation, which is opposite of our positive sign convention. So that's going to be negative. Okay. So we can put in our negative sign and then we're going to have BY here. BY is causing what the same type of rotation. Here's our positive sign convention. So that one's going to be positive. And the moment arm for BY is the perpendicular distance between BY, the line of action of BY and point A. And that's going to be the six meters. So I'll put six meters. And then we have to look at the 60 kilonewton meters because that is causing a moment that's causing rotation specifically in the global direction like this. That's a clockwise moment, right? The, the moment arrow is going clockwise. It's causing rotation in a clockwise manner about point A. If you put your pencil on the, you know, the paper at point A and rotated this in the direction, in a clockwise direction, it would cause a clockwise rotation, which is opposite of our positive sign convention. So that one is also going to be a negative moment. So let's put the, the negative sign in. And now you might be asking, okay, well, what about the moment arm for that 60 kilonewton meters? And this is the crux of it, right? Because this is already a moment. It's already kilonewton meters. It's already a kilonewton times a meter. There is no moment arm, right? This is a, 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 a multiply sign. It, it's a kilonewton times a meter. This is already a moment and there is no additional moment arm here. So once we know that, we only really have this one unknown BY left and we can go ahead and solve for it. So let's do that, right? Because basically what we're going to get here is we're going to BY times six meters has to equal, well, if I put this four times three on the other side, I get 12 kilonewton meters. And if I put the 60 kilonewton meters on the other side, I get plus 60 kilonewton meters. And what we know is when we add all that up, divide it by six, we get a value of 12 kilonewtons. So that is our answer. That's our answer for BY. We can put a box around it and that's where we, that's where we go. Okay. And really the only other thing that we have left here to do is to solve for the sum of the forces in the Y direction to solve for AY. So hopefully that one's pretty, pretty easy right now, but, um, you know, this is just AY plus BY it has to equal uh, well, actually, I lost one there, minus the four kilonewtons because we get AY, 
and this, this minus four kilonewtons plus by 60 kilonewton meters does not show up here because it's a moment it's not a vertical force okay so ay plus by minus four kilonewtons has to equal zero so essentially what we get here is ay has to equal well we'll put the four kilonewtons on the other side so four kilonewtons minus by and what we get is ay equals well four minus 12 is going to be minus eight kilonewtons so what does this minus sign mean it means that when we first drew our arrow it was in the wrong direction right in other words this moment is so strong it's causing so much rotation there it actually wants to lift this beam up right and a y is actually pointing down right so we can we can put a note of that a y is actually down right our free body diagram shows the arrow going up we get the negative sign knowing that there, this arrow is actually assumed incorrectly, right? What we know is AY is actually 8 kilonewtons down. So that's it, right? We went through, we drew our free body diagram, we applied our equations of equilibrium. The key here is, right, the 60 kilonewton meters is a moment. It shows up in our moment equation, but not on our forces equations. All right, so that's it, and I hope it helps. Hey, if you have questions, feel free to drop a comment. Otherwise, keep working hard and moving onward and upward.